Now this type of question is generally asked uh, as a merit level question in NCA level 3. So the question is basically using dim valve's theorem. So the general form of this equation would be z to the power n is equal to r sys theta. Now this is a polar form of a complex number. So let's start with the first question. z cube is equal to 27i. So whenever you have a question like this, now the first thing that we need to do is write this in polar form. So let's graph this so that you understand the polar form quite easily. So what does 27i mean? So well, 27i means uh, this is say the real arm and this is the imaginary arm not drawn to scale. A point on the imaginary arm which is at a distance of 27. So this is say 27i and say this is 0. So if you want to write this, this is in the rectangular form. So if you want to write the rectangular form, basically this is 0, the real part is 0 and the imaginary part is 27i. This is a uh, rectangular form. So the first thing that we need to con do is convert 27i into the polar form. So, well, it is polar form you're asking the question, how far away is it from the origin? Okay, so well, this distance, this distance is 27, r is 27, so this is 27, and what's the angle that this point makes with the positive arm of the x-axis? Well, this is 90 degree, or pi by 2. I like to work in degrees, so this is 90. So the same thing, 27r, if you want to write in polar form, it is 27 cis 90. That as simple as that. That means this point is at a distance of 27 and making an angle of 90 with a positive arm of the x-axis. And that's the convention. So we can write z cube now as 27 cis 90. Cis 90. So I want to find, now this one thing you should understand uh, according to the fundamental, fundamental theorem of uh, algebra. If this is a cubic equation, this has three roots. So using Dimwall's theorem, so we can say using Dimwall's theorem. What's the Dimwall's theorem? Let me write theorem. Okay which is like this, uh, r cis theta, or theta raised to n, is r to the power n cis n theta. Okay, you raise the modulus, or the absolute value by n, and you multiply the argument by theta. So this is r raised to theta, because r has a power of 1, and you multiply this argument by theta. So if you want to find z1, so I can say z1, which is the primary root, z1 is z cube raised to one third. So if I want to cancel this 3, I have to raise it by one, one third. So you do the same thing to the other side. So it is 27 cis 90 raised to one third. So this, say, this implies, so z1, the first root, is 27 raised to one third cis 90 times one third. As simple as that. So this implies z1 is 27 raised to one third is the cube root of 27. You can use the calculator and the cube root of 27 is 3. So this is 3 cis 30. So the first root is 3 says 30. So how will you graph that? What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is, let me show you here. So that means z1 is, so let me draw a circle. I'll explain why I'm drawing a circle. So this is the distance, the radial distance is how much? This is 3. And you have a 
random sorry a complex number say at an angle of 30 so this point is your z1 which is at a distance of 3 from the origin and this angle is 30 degree so if you know one angle sorry one complex one root you can find the other roots so there are how many roots so we can this is a good formula to remember number of roots is 3 So which implies angle between angle between the roots would be 360 divided by 3 because one full circle has 360 so 360 divided by 3 is 120 so to write the other roots you have to just add 120 so z2 the radial distance would remain the same so this would be 3 cis 150 and z3 you add 120 to this so this will be 3 cis 120 will be 270 so so this is 180 so this is the second root this is z2 which is this angle is 150 degree this is 150 degree and the third root is 30 plus 120 is 150 and 150 plus 120 is 1 okay so this is this is the third root this is your z3 and this is this angle uh, no, so this would be this is 150 so this angle between so let me show you this angle between the root between z1 and z2 let me use a different color the angle between z1 and z2 this angle is 120 degree and this angle is also 120 this much is 120 and this is also 120 I hope you can see my diagram so the angle between the roots is 120 so once you know one root you have to just add uh, the angle between the roots which is always 360 divided by the number of roots okay let me do one more question so how would you do this question z to the power 4 plus 16 the same principle First, write this in polar form. So, z to the power of 4, z to the power of 4 is equal to negative 16. And what is, how would you write this in the polar form? The polar form, negative 16 would come here, say somewhere here, negative 16. So, what is the angle? Okay, the angle is 180 degrees. And what is this distance from the origin? This is the origin. And what is this angle well that is 16 okay so z to the power of 4 is same as right negative 16 this is in polar form sorry this is in rectangular form in rectangular form this is negative 16 plus 0 i so writing this in polar form so this would be 16 6 180 degree same logic z1 is the fourth root of this so i'm going to raise it by a quarter raise it by a quarter will give you the principal root which is 16 cis 16 cis 180 to the power 4 sorry quarter not 4 okay so z1 using the dimwas theorem is 16 raised to quarter this 180 times quarter a quarter of 180 is how much 45 and this is the fourth root of 16 I hope you know the fourth root of 16 is 2 so this is 2 cis 45 degrees so once you know this you can directly draw just to give you a graphical understanding so what is I want to use a different color if I can so this is the real arm 
sorry this is the imaginary arm this is the real arm so this is the real and this is imaginary again you can draw a circle of radius 2 so this is center this is radius 2 this is negative 2 okay so what does this mean 2 cis 45 means a point a point at a radial distance of 2 and at an angle of 45 so this is 45 and this is 2 so this point is your z1 okay so where would z2 come you have to add 90 so this this will be 90 degree this is z2 again add 90 so this is z3 and this is z4 so you have to just add 90 so here by convention you can also write z2 is this is 2 cis 135 am i right 90 plus 45 is 135 so this you can also say this is minus 45 this is minus 45 degrees and this is minus 135 this is minus 135 okay so you can say z3 is 2 cis how much if you add 90 this will be 225 am i right which is same as this is 225 180 plus 45 or this is also same as saying 2 cis minus 135 and z4 is 2 225 plus 90 is 315 so you can say this is 2 cis 315 or you can say the same thing is 2 cis minus 45 degrees so these are the four roots and they are all on a circle at an angle of 90 from each other so this angle is 90 I hope you can see this angle between the roots is 90 okay and the last example is your homework this is z cube is 2 cis 2 square root of 2 cis uh, pi which is same as z cube you can say z cube is 2 root 2 cis 180 180 so do the same process convert find z1 and then you just add 120 because 360 divided by 360 divided by 3 is 120 now in this previous example why did I add 90 because I forgot to tell you because you've got four roots so the rule is 360 divided by the number of roots and that's why I, I added 90 degrees 